You know what? Is it alright if I just go ahead and use some natural lighting for today? Let me not... You know. What's up everyone? We're back with another episode of Road to Max Item Level. As you can see here, I have all my characters. I'm like really thinking about making another one. Let me move my camera just so you can see the full scores here. But I'm really, really thinking about making a new character, a Sulphus specifically, just, you know, especially for more extra leveling equipment and materials and all that. Um, but we'll see, you know, uh, right now, I, I wanna stick with these right now and just, you know, Leveling a new character doesn't take long, so I'm not worried about that. I, I could just knock it out in one day, but we'll start with the usual grind for now. Right now, as you can see, I am on my bard. We're going to do some chaos dungeons just to start this off for the day. Got to get those dailies done. But before that, do you see the mounts they've been giving us in the game right now? Like, these mounts are actually crazy. Like, that spacebar boost is so much better than a lot of other mounts. This one right here is definitely nice. They just released this one, like a black and a white one. I'm pretty sure everyone got them, because as soon as I got mine, everyone was hopping on them. So I'm like, okay. Must have just gave these out. I think it's super cool. Um, but let's get into some Chaos Dungeons. So I just entered this Chaos Dungeon and completely forgot that I'm using my support build. So I've been doing some Chaos Dungeons, or not Chaos Dungeons, um, Abyssal Dungeons, I believe they are, Abyssal Raids. But I'm using a support build and I completely forgot to switch it. I don't think I can switch it during here, so hopefully their DPS is just gonna, you know, it's gonna be buffed and just uh, make up for my damage. You probably noticed my lighting right now, my camera is just a little like darker, or maybe not like as good as it looks right now because I actually don't have my hard light on. I actually have, you know, like natural light coming from my window to the right of me. So I don't have my room darkened out right now. It's just, you know, the light coming from my window you know one thing i will not get over in this game is the boss fights like they're so interactive and just like diverse there's so much going on like everyone just feels like a completely new world you just stepped into like it's like ooh, what's that called um uh what's it called Jujutsu kaisen you know how they have like their own zone that everyone steps into like once they unleash their power or something like that it kind of feels like that when you're fighting a dungeon in this game it's like you get to the boss and it's like okay now i just entered their like zone i forgot what it's called in my show because i haven't watched it in a while but i'm pretty sure the season is over right now it was called their domain that's what it's called and that sounds so good for it too it really does feel like you're entering like a boss's domain like when you enter a boss fight in this game because it's all so different now i'm sure today we can hit 540 for sure all my upgrades and my gear are pretty much like plus 12 on everything i think my weapon is probably plus 11 hands and weapon plus 11 yeah so plus 15 it's gonna come up soon i just gotta you know keep on grinding but honestly the grind in this game is very fun i'm not gonna lie all right we're gonna go ahead and do some upgrades here i don't have any of those materials to increase the chances of them you know actually upgrading so, uh, 77%. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Weapon upgrade. Let's see if we can get the hat real quick. Let's see if we can get both of the hat and shoulders to level 13. Okay, level 13. And then show, oh, I'm out of materials. That's tragic. Okay, so now I'm 543. Um, I can go ahead and run the next tier here. I can for 540 ones. So I can go ahead and run the 540. I think I can use my rest bonus to get some more, you know, materials and stuff for this. Since I am out of the aura resonance. So I can go ahead and run this right now. Uh, see what we get from it. Okay, so it seems like I'm getting those perception stones from here. I'm getting different materials from doing these, uh higher chaos dungeon so i'll be able to use those and convert them into some more materials after the two it's kind of cool all right so this one really didn't give us the most you know like tier one materials rather than those actual stones that allow us to purchase materials so it's not that bad um we'll see exactly what we're gonna be able to get i know the tier one list really isn't the best when it comes to these you know materials that i just got all right so from what i'm looking at right now 
the thing that I really need is some harmony leap stones. And I'll be able to do some more upgrades. Um I don't really need this. That's pretty much it. I'm just gonna have to go and uh, get some of those stones. All right, so we're gonna go on with the next upgrade here. Someone tell me, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but once I get these all to 15, I should be at 600, right? So then once I'm at 600, how do I get to 802? Am I gonna get a whole new gear set? That's just gonna be flat out 802? Or am I gonna have to like get my jewelry up some kind of way or something to get to like 800, 802? Like, or do you just completely skip everything in between 600 and 802? I'm kind of confused about that. All right, I'm here on my gunslinger now. Definitely my second favorite class. Um, honestly, I like Bard, but like I, I feel like it's not my favorite class. I just feel like I like the class. I like how it plays. I honestly don't have a favorite class right now, but like if anything, I'd say this is like, you know, it's up there. I'm just going to be running through a lot of this content on the alts because I know you guys probably don't really want to see this lower level content. It's kind of whatever. It's just running them back. I've been doing a lot of chaos dungeons. I haven't been doing the abyssal dungeons much just because, you know, a lot of people don't know the mechanics and trying to go over and over and do them again is like a waste. I'd rather just make a lot of ults and then just run a lot of chaos dungeons and get all my materials from there rather than trying to sit through an abyssal dungeon. I do those for my main character. I do abyssal dungeons on my main character. I think chaos dungeons would be good for ults. Alright, so I'm done with the Chaos Dungeons on this all. I'm really considering going ahead and making another one right now. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make the either Striker or Storm Fist. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it's between those. Or Soul Fist is what I meant to say. But what I really think how it is in this game is that... Okay, I think you need three alt characters. One main character and one sub main character. So basically, one of the ults is going to be a sub character. So technically, like, you know, one main character, three ults. So you have one main character, you start off with three tier one ults at power level, your main character to tier two. Boom, now that one's tier two. Then you use two of your ults to power one of the ults, which is your sub main character to tier two. Boom. Now you have two tier two um characters that can boost each other you know and then you have two tier ones that can boost each other so eventually you know it's gonna turn to a cycle once those tier ones get to tier two then you can have you know four tier twos all boost one to tier three and you know it's just i think that's the best way to do it right now if you want to play free to play and not use any money all right we're doing it we're creating another character um martial artist female and I believe, wait, War Dancer? Wait, I think I want War Dancer. Yeah, I want War Dancer. We're gonna make a War Dancer class. All right, everyone, meet the newest to the roster, the War Dancer, Clyde, haha. <laughs> But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I already explained to you guys the plan. I'm going to make this character also. It's just going to be to funnel Destiny. more materials to my bard. And then you. eventually I'll pick one of these characters to also level up to tier 2 and help my bard get to tier 3. If you like this video in any way, go ahead, hit that like button, hit the comment section to what you guys want to see next. Anything regarding the game, hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, and I'll catch you guys later. In the night time, it get tricky. Mess with me, we send our boys straight to whoop. Straight to the back seat. Put them work up in the night time, and it's getting tricky. I put my sweat and my tears in this bitch, so I swear to God, it's getting busy.